check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Beer Tips. This is Dan. And today what we're going to do is a little virtual brewery tour. If you take a look at what we got here, we got a nice five-point selection from Civil Society in Florida. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I have not yet tried Civil Society. I hear great things. Um, so this is what we're going to do. Um, we'll break it down for you beer by beer. And I'm looking forward to this. Let's do it. All right, everybody. Um, this is round one, okay, from Civil Society Brewery. Um, it is called Fresh Lotus. It's an India Pale Ale at 6.2% alcohol by volume. Um, it is supposed to be a New England IPA. Um, like I said, I have never had anything from Civil Society. So I am really, really looking forward to this. Smells absolutely delicious. And yeah, it definitely looks like a hazy IPA. It's a portion of the glass. I'll go ahead and share that with you in a moment. All right, here we go. So this is what it looks like for everybody at home joining us. And as you can tell, it's called Fresh Lotus. And, oh wow, yeah, it is a lot of citrusy and pineapple juices up front. It's all juice. <laughs> it is definitely like all juice up front. I am, that's pineapple, mango, maybe a hint of orange as well. Um, some citrusy fruits, but it is actually more tropical than anything else, as far as I can tell. A little bit of bread in there as well. Cheers. So it'll be interesting to see what this one is like when it warms up. Um, given what I smell, um, I was actually expecting something way, way juicier, way juicier, like, um, and like maybe a little bit sweeter, like more fruit forward up front. Um, what, what I'm getting out of this is like a lot of like dry hop to it. Mm. And some like very, very dry, like unsweetened grapefruit. It's actually really good. Um, it's very refreshing. It's not like, it's not going to be a really juicy, hazy IPA. Um, you know, a good example of one it's not is like the Dogfish Head Hazy O. <laughs> um, that's brewed with like oats. Um, I think it's got also some like um, lactose as well, which makes it sweeter. This is not that at all. If you're expecting something sweet, that's not going to be it. This is super refreshing, and it's actually quite full body to the mouthfeel. Yeah, the mouthfeel is wonderful. It's uh, got a lot of carbonation. Um, it's very full bodied. Um, it's definitely like very silky and smooth on the uh, on the tongue. Um, not super prickly, even though it's got tons of carbonation. And yeah, the grapefruitiness of it, um, and a little bit of like, a little bit of like, um, I guess you can say like orange peel, maybe some lemon zest on the back end, um, makes it really refreshing for a hot summer day. I actually really like this beer. Um, I don't know if I would get it again. My issue with civil society is that like you end up paying sometimes between like eight and twelve dollars per beer. Um, I say it was definitely worth trying. Um, but if like money is no object for you, I'd say like definitely, definitely get Fresh Lotus. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and continue with our virtual brewery tour of Civil Society um, in a little bit. So I look forward to seeing you guys back in a bit. All right, everybody, welcome back to our second segment of our Civil Society Brewery Tasting. Again, Civil Society is in Jupiter, Florida, um, which is basically West Palm Beach. I have never been there. 
Um, but when I do these tastings by brewery, um, I'm definitely looking forward to actually trying to try these at the brewery at some point. Hopefully, um, I'll be able to uh, film myself from the brewery and give you an actual tour, not just a virtual tour of the beer by tasting. But this should be fun. This one is called Pool Floaties. Um, and what I'm doing is generally when I taste these beers and tasting them from lowest alcohol by volume to highest alcohol by volume, I think it's easier on the palate that way. Um, these are all supposed to be New England style IPAs. Um, so they're all going to have like a, probably I, I would, uh, I would expect a certain type of uh, tropical nature to them. Um, and I apologize. I've already opened this one, but as you can see, it looks like pineapple juice and, uh, it smells like pineapple and grapefruit, so heavy citrus and, um, yeah, very heavy citrus and very heavy um, tropical fruits. Maybe a little bit of guava as well, but definitely, like, the, the grapefruit hits you up front, and then the rest of the nose is, is like somebody cutting open a pineapple and, like, you know, you get a huge waft of that, like, tropical uh, tropical fruit up front. But yeah, there's also a tiny bit of uh, guava in there too. At least that's the way I, I, um, I'm, I, I'm sensing from pool floaties. So cheers. So again, this is really, really, really a smooth beer. Um, Fresh Lotus was equally smooth. Um, you definitely get somewhat of a, a prickly hot bitterness up front um, but it's really really well balanced and it's really balanced with like those those citrus notes that I was talking about before so in the taste you're not getting all the, it's not sweet it's not like a milkshake IPA you know with lactose so it's it's certainly not cloying it's it's extremely refreshing actually um, considering the seven seven percent ABV. Yeah, these are all wonderful summer beers so far. Fresh Lotus, Pool Floaties. Um, I think this one has more of, um, it, it has a stronger finish, a little bit more of a bite in the finish. Um, more, less grapefruit and more of, you know, that that um, sort of pine fresh hop bitterness. Um, not, not pine fresh, like, you know, what you hang in your car, like, you know, just kind of a almost like an herbal hop bitterness to it that actually it's it's really appealing i actually really like it mm. and yeah as a beer warms up you'll usually be able to taste more of you know the accents you'll be able to smell more of the accents as well and yeah that the the um hop all of those different hops that they're using, it definitely like comes forward as you let it sit out a little bit. Um, it doesn't lose its carbonation, which is great. Um, I feel like a beer should be carbonated. Otherwise, you're kind of drinking like a, a bitter juice and, uh, you know, a wine, which, hey, I got nothing against wine, but when I'm in the mood for beer, I want a beer. Mm. So this is, again, another New England IPA. It's Pool Floaties. Um, I definitely recommend this one, um, just like Fresh Lotus. Again, when we, uh, when we go back through them, um, I'll try to like rate them for you if I can. <laughs> it's um, sometimes a little bit difficult. Some of them are very similar. I think there's a lot of similarities um, between Pool Floaties and Fresh Lotus. Um, but I am very, very partial to New England IPAs in the summer. Um, there's something about warm weather and New England IPAs and milkshake IPAs that just like, you know, endear me. Um, to that kind of beer and the environment. So um, as we move forward, um, I'm excited. We've gotten two down. We got three to go. Um, next up, I believe, is uh, Sandbar. Um, but I'll give you a heads up when uh, when we get there. As you can tell when we do these segments, um, sometimes I'm uh, dressed differently. I look differently. It's because I shoot them at different times. And there's a really, really good reason for that. Um, you get to the point where when you're tasting beer, if you drink a whole bunch of these at once, you know, you're gonna be too buzzed to enjoy and really taste and really like um, get everything you want from a beer, at least in my opinion. <laughs> um, 
once you get through like three or four beers, these are, you know, 16 ounce cans. So, um, I got to take it slowly and I'm, I'm not pouring it down the drain because it's like $8 a can, $10 a can. So, but I, I definitely feel like civil society is, is worth a try. I can't wait, um, to go back down to Florida, um, check out civil society on my way to cigar city, which is one of my favorite breweries. And, uh, here we go. Let's do it for the next segment. Alrighty then. It is time for Sandbar Party. Sandbar Party. So this one is, let's see what it says on my uh, little post here. It says 7.4% alcohol by volume. So we are moving on up, moving on up, but we're not yet in that Imperial or double IPA range. I can't wait for those last two. That should be um, really, really interesting, but this is called Sandbar Party. Um, and this one's a little bit different because besides the massive varietal of hops that they brew it with, apparently this one is also brewed with wheat and oat. Um, in my experience with oats, um, as far as like when they enter the brewing process, is that they tend to make a more silky, smooth texture and mouthfeel and sometimes even a sweeter beer. So this should be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and pour it for you so you can see it. And you can see it's kind of the same color as the other ones were. Um, nothing unique there, but as far as the aroma is concerned, again, um, it's got like a very, oh, this is sweet. This is nice. Um, this has got um, more of a like coconutty um aroma to it the nose is it's much more sweet on the nose much much more sweet there's there's something going on there um that's uh almost vanilla a little bit um it's nice yeah like vanilla and coconut um a little bit of tropical fruits as well i definitely feel that um but it's like it's tempered by this like vanilla um, and coconut. Um, it's really, really pleasant. I actually really like the aroma. I smelled a few more times, but that would bore you just to watch me smelling beer. So here we go. Yeah, that's nice. That's, this is the first one, like Fresh Lotus and Pool Party, um, I'm sorry, Pool Floaties. <laughs> my bad, had a very, very, very similar profile, a very similar hot profile to it, in my opinion. Um, this one is the first one where that hot bitterness is still there, uh, but the profile is much, much more subtle. Um, and there's more of a like, um, you know, these, these, the the tropical fruits you know what i was talking about before um like the coconut and maybe even some guava and mango um and uh some you know light citrus fruits as well come through on the taste right up front um it's much much less bitter bitter the the hops um you, you get them briefly up front um and it's a it's a nice clean finish, which I, I, I assume is probably from the hot profile as well. Um, but my prediction was relatively correct, actually, that you, you get um, with the wheat and the oats in particular, um, you're getting a much, much more juicy um, profile as far as the beer is concerned. This is my favorite one yet. Um, I mean, hands down, I'm going to say Sandbar Party is my favorite yet. Absolutely. Now, with tasting beer, it's always personal. Um, it's always a personal preference. But for me, I always prefer like the juicier hazy IPAs or juicier New England um, IPAs. And that's just me. And this really, really lived up to the profile that I was expecting um, when I was going to taste this beer. And I'm curious what it's going to be like when it, uh, you know, warms up a little bit. Um, that's always like the big question. Is it going to lose its carbonation? Is it, you know, going to start to turn flat? Is it going to, you know, are you going to, um, you know, pick up on aromas that weren't there originally? Is it going to be more resiny? 
you know, um, like the, the bottom of the barrel, but this is, this is a gorgeous beer. I, I love this. This was worth every single cent. I don't remember what I paid for it, but <laughs> it was a lot and it was really, really good. Um, yeah, I can't wait to visit this brewery and I can't wait to share with you the, the, uh, the next beer because these beers just keep getting, um, better every set, like progressively every single time I try another one of these beers in civil society, they just get better. I think they can't get better and then they get better again. So, um, I can't wait for the next one. Hey everybody. I am so excited to be back with you as we move finally into the double or imperial New England IPA category. So we are at 8.1% alcohol by volume with Sunrise Surf Sesh. Um, this is again Civil Society. We've got these last two beers, um, which are big, big beers. Um, and ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is, uh, they just keep getting better every single time. So uh, as I crack this open, I'm going to read for you their description of what they say here. Um, as I have it up on my other screen, it says, uh, it's a double India pale ale brewed with a healthy dose of wheat and hopped with Citra Sabro Strata Brew 1 and Citra Cryo Aroma and flavors of dank pineapple sticky icky. Wow. All right. So that's a mouthful, but, and probably an earful for you, but here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pour this bad boy out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let that sit there for a moment. So there it is. Looks like a nice glass of pineapple juice. <laughs> I smelled that when it came out. Yeah, yeah, lots and lots of pineapple. I totally get that from the uh, from the hop profile. Good stuff, good stuff. So the question is whether this is going to be like a lot of. Um, a lot of IPAs for me are really, really like bitter, like the IBUs are through the roof. Um, it's usually why I prefer, prefer New England IPAs. Um, as you get bigger, the hot profile usually gets like more potent, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean bad. It just means that like usually the, the bitterness level just kind of tends to go up um, and you get more of like a piney nature um, and resiny uh, type of feel. But I'm actually, I'm actually excited about this and see where it goes. I'm getting pineapple, all pineapple, a little bit of, a little bit of mango in there too. A little bit of mango, maybe some resin and residual sugar. I like that. I like it. Mm. Yeah, it is a much, much bigger beer. You move from like the juicy from sandbar into like, you know, definitely kind of a, you know, like dense, sticky, almost like smoothie type of uh, mouthfeel and body. Uh, but it's good. It's good. It's it's definitely worth, worth sipping. Um, plenty of carbonation um, to keep it going. It's not something that's just kind of like a, a, a glass of like goo. It's not like that. This is this is a craftily made beer. Um, it's got a lot going on. I kind of like it. It's got you know it's got that hop bitterness, but it's also got all those tropical fruits. Um, and it all hits you at once. And it's like super super balanced. So whatever they did to this, um, it, they did it right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is gonna be this is gonna be more, um, it's gonna be more potent. Um, it's gonna be more, I guess, the idea of like dank and like you know sticky and like heavy. Um, this is gonna like leave you with a lot of like a little bit of residual bitterness, um, kind of a sticky feeling in your mouth. Um, this is something that you're gonna want to drink slowly. It's also um, something to maybe end the night with. Um, it's also something that might not appeal as well to, you know, people who are just not into IPAs. Um, because there's definitely, it, it's definitely, um, it, it's, it's definitely got those, uh, it got the bitterness factor there, but it's, it's not, it's not unpleasant. 
Um, it's really, really well balanced with the, um, you know, with the tropical nature of the drink. Um, I think this is an excellent beer. Um, this is almost like a, like a dessert IPA. Um, you know, it's borderline, you know, like Imperial milkshake IPA, you know, cause there's a lot of that like residual sugar there. At least that's what I taste. It may not be in the beer, but it's definitely what I taste. Um, so yeah, I'd say definitely Sunrise Surf Sesh is a keeper. Um, and I can't wait to taste the last one um, called Tracks. Um, that's another huge beer. So um, I'll see you guys there when I finish this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the coup de gras for the evening. This is Tracks by Civil Society. And it is 8.5% ABV weighing in heavyweight double IPA. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in there for you so you can see what we're dealing with. Oh boy, that's big beer. Big, big beer. All right, so they say that this is a rebrand of their Subject 16 All Citra Half Double IPA. I have no idea what that means. Um, I'm looking, hopefully, to eventually go and visit Simple Society and give you the lowdown. Um, but until such time as I'm able to do that, look at that. It is not a transparent beer. That is a thick, 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 heavy beer. Double New England IPA. And this will complete the five point comparison of the night for our brewery tour of civil society in Jupiter, Florida. Mm. Cheers. That, that's gorgeous. It really is. It's, um, is definitely still in the spirit of a double IPA. Um, I would definitely, uh, mm. again, this is just like the last one. Um, the, uh, the last beer that I reviewed, it is definitely a, um, sipper. <laughs> sipper meaning not one that you down in one sitting um you need to kind of like let it go for a while um and not just because it's strong but because it's extremely full-bodied and yeah i'm getting a lot of uh a lot of citrus and tropical fruits on the nose it's not particularly clear like where the fruits are coming from Definitely like grapefruit and pineapple. Um, so there's citric and citrus and tropics. Um, and you definitely have that like sort of a resiny, um, hoppy feeling um, from it that's like a finish that you get on the finish. Um, and it leaves you, um, you know, sort of a like sticky taste in your mouth, but it's not nearly as sticky as the last beer. Um, so as far as the, the word dank that they use to describe the last beer, this is a little bit more smooth. Um, but there is a touch of like alcohol bitterness on the, um, on the finish that, you know, you can tell, um, this is going to linger with you a little bit. So it's, it is definitely worth, it is a fine, fine sipping beer. Um, and yeah, I, I, I it's delicious. Uh, and I'm not one that enjoys hot bombs. I'm really not. So, um, I consider myself a legitimate critic um, of civil society, and uh, I've been very, very pleased. And at first, I, you know, I kind of complained about the fact that I was buying beers that were like eight to twelve dollars a piece. <laughs> um, but um, I understand um, where they're coming from. This is a craft brewery that's uh, that's solid. Um, they they understand the art of brewing. Um, they have, a, you know, they give their beers a unique, both hop, you know, hop and malt character. Uh, I'm very, very impressed by this brewery and, uh, I definitely want to go down there at some point. You know, Jupiter, Florida is not far from where family lives. So, Hey, I see that as an excuse to, uh, to head down there and check it out. And I would urge you, everybody here to do the same. Um, this is Dan from beer tips. Um, I'm checking out. And uh, it was a pleasure to review these beers for you. Have a good evening, everybody.
Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. 